Good day, beloved of Christ. Welcome to prayer for Friday, the 4th of March, the first Friday in the season of Lent. We begin with a deep breath, quiet, a call to confession, and then a prayer of confession from Feasting on the Word. The prophet Joel cried out, Return to the Lord with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. For God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Let us confess our sins and repent of all unrighteousness. Merciful God, we confess that we have been a rebellious people. We have broken your covenant, and we have tolerated injustice in our land. We have not shared our food with the hungry. We have not sheltered the homeless. We have not aided the destitute. We quarrel and fight among ourselves, and we used religion to cover our deceit. We have become a mockery of our heritage. The world looks at us and asks, Where is their God? Forgive us, O God. Subdue our rebellious hearts and restore in us the light of salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. Psalm 31 In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. And I put my trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad because of your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. You know my distress. You have not shut me up in the power of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies and even to my neighbors, a dismay to those of my acquaintance. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. I am forgotten like a corpse, out of mind. I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd, fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and in your loving kindness save me. Lord, let me not be ashamed for having called upon you. Rather, let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be silenced which speak against the righteous haughtily, disdainfully, and with contempt. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have done in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed are you, O Lord, for you have shown me the wonders of your love in a besieged city. Yet I said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the sound of my entreaty when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you who worship God. The Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full those who act haughtily. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Let us pray. Helper of the helpless, comfort of the afflicted, 
May your servants who stand in the midst of evil find strength in the knowledge of your presence and praise you for the wonders of your love through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from the mighty prophet Ezekiel, chapter 18, verses 1 to 4, and then jumping to 25 to 32. The Lord spoke to me and said, What is this proverb people keep repeating in the land of Israel? The parents ate the sour grapes, but the children got the sour taste. As surely as I am the living God, says the Sovereign Lord, you will not repeat this proverb in Israel any more. The life of every person belongs to me, the life of the parent as well as that of the child. The person who sins is the one who will die. But you say, what the Sovereign Lord does isn't right. Listen to me, Israelites. Do you think my way of doing things isn't right? It is your way that isn't right. When a righteous man stops doing good and starts doing evil and then dies, he dies because of the evil he has done. When an evil man stops sinning and does what is right and good, he saves his life. He realizes what he is doing and stops sinning, so he will certainly not die but go on living. And you Israelites say, What the Sovereign Lord does isn't right. You think my way isn't right, do you? It is your way that isn't right. Now I, the Sovereign Lord, am telling you Israelites that I will judge each of you by what they have done. Turn away from all the evil you are doing and don't let your sin destroy you. Give up all the evil you have been doing and get yourselves new minds and hearts. Why do you Israelites want to die? I do not want anyone to die, says the Sovereign Lord. Turn away from your sins and live. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A powerful passage calling us to repentance, to have renewed minds and hearts, to set our favor once again upon our first love, the love of the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Lent is a wonderful gift from the church, an opportunity to do spiritual housekeeping, to see how we're doing in our primary and most important relationship with the Sovereign Lord of hosts. Lord, hear our cry. Come and assist your people. Amen. Let us pray. Trusting in God's righteousness, let us pray for the world and for our needs, saying, Holy God, hear our prayer. For the church, for each one, that in the season of fasting and repentance, the people of God, each one, with sincere hearts, may amend their lives and truly obey the gospel call. Holy God, hear our prayer. For all pastors, teachers, for bishops, for the primate of the Anglican Church of Canada, that each may lead the church by humble example and give public witness without concern for earthly reward. Holy God, hear our prayer. For peace among the nations, especially between Ukraine and Russia, pour the blessings of your redeeming grace upon Vladimir Putin for all in authority and power. Lord, may the governments work with integrity. Holy God, hear our prayer for our city and for all who live here, that neighborhoods may be places of hospitality and care. Holy God, hear our prayer for the poor and the oppressed, that they may find deliverance from their distress and for all who seek to alleviate human suffering. Holy God, hear our prayer for those who suffer illness of mind or body, and for those who care for them, that they may be healed of disease and know the joy of abundant life. Holy God, hear our prayer. You may want to pause the recording and lift up any prayer concerns you have today on your hearts. For these concerns and those known only to you, Holy God, 
We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Disciples of Jesus, observe a holy Lent. Loose the bonds of injustice. Break the yoke of oppression. Feed the hungry. Shelter the poor. Draw close to the Lord. And the blessing of the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier fall upon you this day and forevermore. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Friday, TGIF.